everyone and welcome to This Generation. Well, I'm the host this week for this program. Today, we travel to Hooper Bay and visit the youth there. Hooper Bay has a huge school. And then later on in the program, we'll take a look at behavioral health as a career. It's a great show and I'll be back right after this. Flying in Alaska? Fly Frontier, the official airline of Heartbeat Alaska. Frontier is expanding again. They've added new routes to Nome, Kotzebue, and the surrounding villages. As you can see, Frontier is now really covering Alaska. So the next time you fly, try Frontier. Frontier offers quick, convenient check-in, low fares, and service direct to many of the villages. Frontier Flying Service is the official airline of Heartbeat Alaska. Make it your official airline, too. If your friend was in trouble, you'd help them, wouldn't you? with me now to Hooper Bay, Alaska, home of Yupik people who have a dynamic school. Let's visit some of the kids. If you visit Hooper Bay on a windy day in the winter, you might get the impression that it's a sleepy little town. You'll see the occasional snow machiner, maybe some kids playing in the snow, but don't let that quiet fool you because the people of Hooper Bay are probably busy indoors. You just have to know where to look. Welcome to Hooper Bay! Here in the gymnasium of the Hooper Bay Warriors, nearly the whole town has come to see the junior high girls basketball team take on Chivac. We were lucky enough to get an interview with Hooper Bay players Lauren Nooksook and Louise Bunyan. Yeah, it was big for us. Um, we didn't make it to the championship. Last year we got third. But this year we did a lot better. Second place, not bad. At least we took a place rather than last. Mostly 2-1-2 two, two defense and offense is V where one, two people go under the rim and they guard the forwards and then one person has a ball, they're behind the three-pointer and another per two people are behind the um, um, screen. They have screens and there's two people behind them and we pass to the ball to either one of them and they shoot and they make it that's our offense. Our defense is pretty good, it's 2-1-2. Two, two. I am good at driving in and suiting. <laughs> Fast breaks. Fast breaks. They were, they were good, they were tough, they were aggressive, just like we were. But we still played a good game, both of us, even if both, one, none of us, I mean, even if, even if one of us lost, at least we had one, we tried our best, we did good as we could.
As we went from classroom to classroom, we saw reading and writing, but also cooking and coloring, arts and crafts, music and dancing, even fashioning fish hooks out of forks. Here we see children trying different techniques of filing to form a sharp point. They also prepare the wooden handle for spooling up the line. Yeah, there's no ridges. That's good. This is good. This is really sharp. This generation will be right back. Vietnam veteran, roughneck, small businessman, family man, governor. Independent, effective leader. Tony Knowles. In Washington, he'll work to create jobs, reach across party lines to promote oil and gas development, make prescription drugs and health care more affordable, even standing up to his own party to protect Alaska jobs. Putting Alaska first. Tony Knowles. I'm Tony Knowles, and I approve this message to Alaska. It's going to be insane is what it's going to be. I really, I can't wait. This one's going to be so awesome. What do you think? This last week in school was crazy. It was hectic. I cannot wait until this party. Do you understand? I need to blow off some steam. Like, no, Jocelyn, she's gonna be at this party, man. Hey, 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 where are we going? What are we doing? It takes a lot of guts to talk to your friends about their problems with marijuana or drinking. We really need to talk. But it could make all the difference. These students are making boots and hats out of fur, a vital skill for subsistence living in cold climates. In another classroom, Children learn to sew by fixing buttons and beads onto pieces of felt. Everyone's project is a little bit different, but it's not hard to see that Hooper Bay has its share of talented young artists. <laughs> While some classes are focusing on sewing, others are working with wood. In this classroom, children are learning the proper techniques to make masks out of wood. Basically what you're doing is you're fabricating something and you're putting it, making sure they fit. Then you take them, take them apart and finish your mask, all the pieces, then you put it back together permanently. Or if they fit nice and tight, you can have them not even with glue or anything like that, so you can take them apart and get them ready for shipping or anything like that. When they finish shaping and sanding the mask, they stain it and assemble the parts. Each one of these masks is different, and each one is a work of art. Summertime, I go hunting for birds, and just for fun, I go check for foxes. And next, next week, I'm probably going to go seal hunting with my dad. My father says, uh, I'm their role model. They look up to me because I'm their oldest brother, and they, they look up to me. I don't want them to do anything with tobacco or alcohol, anything. I want them to be healthy so they could do activities with the school. 
I want to see my little brother be the fastest runner. in traditional handmade clothing. These elements are taught in each classroom and become an active part of the life that makes Hooper Bay unique for adults and children alike. From the classrooms in Hooper Bay, we travel now to University of Alaska Anchorage and take a look at the classrooms there. Maybe a career in behavioral health is right for you. anything you want you just have to believe in yourself and have faith that you can do it they have people who will bend over backwards to help you there's definitely a lot of opportunity out there it's been one of the most rewarding experiences of my life and I've been around for a while <laughs> I'm looking at maybe doing research consulting. It's one of my interests right now. I would like to be a therapist. I would want to be a guidance counselor in a school. I want to be a group therapist. Hello, my name is Wes Roberts. I'm majoring in psychology and minoring in economics at the University of Alaska Anchorage. The reason I'm majoring in psychology is because I believe I can help Alaskan communities. I believe I can help native teens, uh, specifically because I've been a native teen and I understand the struggles facing them when it comes to uh, alcohol and drug abuse, violent suicides, career decisions, and I really believe I can help, uh, help them give themselves direction. And I encourage anybody to join the behavioral science fields in order to help communities, if they want to help their communities or villages or their cities. And I believe it's very important. It's very re rewarding inside. And uh, it's an absolute win-win situation for those who want to join this type of programs throughout Alaska. I remember when I was a boy and uh, visiting some of the villages just in Kodiak and how people acted and how they lived compared to now. And, it, and the change is just immense cultural uh, traditions are, are expiring and uh, the changes are leaving many of our peoples lost. 
being raised in Alaska and seeing a lot of the problems and having lived through it, you know, um, I know where a lot of, a lot of like, say, Native kids are coming from, you know, growing up in Alaska, growing up in the schools, growing up as a Native, growing up not so rich, you know, having a lot of pro uh, your relatives being, you know, and having alcohol problems and stuff like that. I know where they're coming from. Living in Nome growing up, there was, um, I don't think, a, uh, enough Native um, behavioral health workers to go around. Um, and I think a lot of Native students, or Natives in particular, don't feel necessarily comfortable working with um, someone outside their culture because maybe they're not as sensitive or to their culture, so they feel kind of uncomfortable, maybe. I do think that is important because everybody's cultures are different and everybody's beliefs are different. So if you have an understanding of the different cultures and beliefs, then there's a chance for a higher success rate working with your client. Due to my experience working in the field for 20 years, primarily with Alaska Native and American Indian programs, I've seen the need for uh, people from the culture to, to work for rural villages or corporations that serve Alaska Natives and American Indians because the clients want it. They ask for people from their own culture to work with them and there aren't that many available. In addition to that, it seems like um, from my perspective that Alaska Natives and American Indians understand what th their people are facing both um, socially and psychologically. So, you know, they understand the culture, they know what it's like to live in a village or a rural area, they understand the problems that they're facing and can relate to what's going on. I really believe that in order to do a better job with behavioral health and mental health services in Alaska, we need to have more Native Alaskans who are going through UAA and UAF's programs to be trained. Um, I'm okay with being put out of a job, and uh, I think most of my coworkers are too. Um, there's tremendous opportunity in this field. It's an exciting field, and it's a very rewarding field. It's, it's pr the most rewarding thing I've ever done. The people of Alaska are on the path to a better and healthier life. In our cities, in our towns, and in our villages, a shared vision of wellness is sweeping across the land. And this time, the vision is coming from our communities, from our people. So you may ask, what are we referring to? What we are referring to are behavioral health, mental health, and substance abuse fields. Across our great state and within many rural communities of Alaska, there's a growing need for behavioral health care workers. There are many different specialties in the behavioral health field. You have the opportunity to choose to work with various populations, such as the elderly, people with disabilities, youth, families, or individuals. Maybe you would like to be a crisis intervention counselor who works with people that are having an immediate crisis in their life. Or perhaps you would enjoy being a caseworker that provides everyday support for individuals and families by pulling together different services. Other examples of jobs in the behavioral health field include ICWA workers, who work with Alaska Native and American Indian children and their families when they have been taken away from home. Mental health workers do counseling with individuals and families. A substance abuse counselor works with people who are struggling with addictions. These are just a few of the many careers available in this field. <laughs> the University of Alaska in Anchorage, in Fairbanks, and Southeast are opening doors for Native people who are interested in pursuing careers in the behavioral health sciences field. Through their different programs, UAA, UAF, and UAS offer classes that center around understanding our Native cultures and providing care and support for our Native people. Leaving home and going to college can be very scary for some students, but the University of Alaska offers financial support as well as moral support. There are many small classes and many students just like yourself that can make you feel at home. Next, we will talk about behavioral health programs that will help you in your transition to feeling at home at the University of Alaska. Raven's Quest Summer Institute is an eight-week summer program 
that allows university students to explore career opportunities in the behavioral health field within rural Alaska. Students observe behavioral health professionals while studying cultural diversity in the classroom. Raven's Quest was a great opportunity. Um, I got the, uh, the chance to become educated about different behavioral health careers, and they taught skills about how to be successful in college. And that was really good and very helpful. Um, but I also was able to go out into the Anchorage community and work with a lot of different populations. I worked with the elderly who have Alzheimer's and dementia. I worked with ch kids at Alaska Children's Services. Um, they all had a variety of different disabilities. And I also had the opportunity to work with people who had schizophrenia and bipolar with South Central Counseling. And that was a great experience just to work with very different populations of people and find out what I wanted to do and what I didn't want to do. This is where I played kick the can or kick ball on this road. <laughs> Jolene Furman, a fellow student from Fort Yukon, is currently attending UAA in Anchorage. Like many Alaska Native youth, Jolene plans to return home to her village after she receives her education to serve the people of her community. And with the help of UAA, Jolene will be able to do just that. I've always wanted to go home. I can't see myself living in a bigger city like Anchorage. Maybe outside of Alaska I could do that, but not anywhere in Alaska. Home is just the place where I want to be, in Fort Yukon. Um, I think it's really important to go out to rural Alaska, for one, because of the lack of resources that they have. And I would like to work in a school system. When Before I graduated, I wanted to be a math teacher, go to college, major in math. And I came here and wasn't really sure if I wanted to follow that. And I found out about Raven's Quest, spent the summer with Raven's Quest, and decided that um, a psychology degree would give me the option of working in a behavioral health field, which is what my summer was spent doing, or I could also have the option of being a teacher. And so that's why I chose psychology, because it gave me, I could either be a teacher or work in a behavioral health career. And that's something that was really appealing to me. And now I've decided that I would like to be a behavioral health career woman in a school system. So working as a counselor in a school or I know they're having social workers come into schools. It's a new thing, that a new program that they're starting up, and that's something that I'm interested in. Raven's Quest Summer Institute has helped many Alaskan students, native and non-native, narrow down their choice of careers in the behavioral health field and has assisted in learning the differences between urban and rural behavioral health care. ANSYCH is a program that supports Alaska Native students in their pursuit of a psychology degree through employment, tuition waivers, and scholarship. ANSYCH is available to UAA and UAF with hopes to expand throughout Alaska. ANSYCH stands for Alaska Natives into Psychology, and it's a program offered at UAA and UAF. Our goal is to have Alaska Native people educated in the behavioral health field and then returning to rural Alaska and working there. Um, a part of our program is to support the students who are Alaska Native and studying psychology or behavioral health or a field similar to that, financially supporting them and also offering jobs. And then we also go out into the communities all throughout Alaska and we try to recruit high school students to go to college. If you're Alaska Native and you just want to come and talk to anybody about, or if you want to come and talk to the director or one of the um, employees for Ansyke about psychology, they'll be happy to do that. And they'll be happy to show you the steps to get into college and find financial aid. So um, that's one really nice thing, wonderful thing about um, getting into psychology here at UAA, especially if you're Alaska Native. Um, Another thing is Native Student Services. In the beginning um, of your college career, Native Student ser Services is there for you, and they'll help you um, in every step of the way, too, for getting into school and stuff. There are a variety of resources available for students who need financial aid. Janine has some pointers that may make your search for financial aid a little easier. 
a lot of the things that you need to get into college, you could get help from at Native Student Services. So for me, that was really nice. Um, and trying to find money, well, you know, it's expensive to go to school, to go to college, period. And, you know, I didn't have a lot of money to, I didn't have any money saved up for school. Um, but I was able to get scholarships through um, BIA. Basically, you start where you're from, you go to your corporations, you go to your tribal organizations, um, tribal government if you have one. Looking online is a really good uh, source. FastWeb, you can apply for scholarships online. And there's loans, there's the Pell Grant, there's uh, scholarships. Uh, right now I'm with the ANSYC program. I got a tuition waiver, you know. I mean, there's tuition waivers out there. And then you can pay for your own college the old-fashioned way, which people have been doing for centuries. You know, work, get a, you know, work a job and pay for, you know, do it the hard way, you know. And um, if you really want it, you can do it. It's all there. You just have to be willing to do a lot of paperwork, you know, and keep your grades up. It's all there, especially for natives. There's a lot of, there's a lot of opportunities there. Janine is currently in her first year of graduate school in the clinical psychology program at UAA. With the help of Native Student Services and the support of faculty, other students, friends, and family, the road that once looked like a mountain to climb is looking more like rolling hills for Janine. With all the support and guidance needed to point students in the right direction, UAA, UAF, and UAS are making it easier for students like myself from rural Alaska to get into the behavioral health field with programs like Raven's Quest and Ansyke. With the projected growth in behavioral health jobs in the near future, Alaskans can count on the fact that there will be plenty of help available to them from our own people, from people who understand our way of life, our beliefs, and our values. everyone for joining us for this generation. If you'd like us to visit your school, call me. Call Jeannie Green, 907-563-7440, and we'll do our best to get there. God bless you. Stay tuned for Heartbeat Alaska if you're in Alaska right after this.